Trump stay ever ready. Assault and battery. If you scared, you never ready. Okay, this video is going to be about Daniel Bryan. And I know news is broke about this back in August, really, SummerSlam time. And I probably made a video on it too, but going more into it, Daniel Bryan's surgery that he needs... I guess word is now that he will not be returning at the Royal Rumble. He's looking more towards a WrestleMania return date. Is it really worthwhile Daniel Bryan trying to rush back to make it to WrestleMania? And to me, I don't think it's even worth it. I think if he tries to rush coming back, it's just going to make things worse for him, really. You, you'd look at guys like Steve Austin, you look at guys like Edge, uh, Kurt Angle. That neck injury never recovers 100%. You are never the same after having neck slash spine surgery that style that he worked that style that really got him over that people enjoy watching it's not going to be there anymore daniel bryan has to change everything up and be more more conservative and with that being said i'm sure there's going to be times where he's going to go high risk or whatever and one bad bump like people like edges said himself one bad bump and he is in a wheelchair for life and daniel bryan i can see doing the same thing and being in the same situation if you kind of rush coming back. You look down the road, you look towards WrestleMania time where he is looking to come back at. You have Dean Ambrose, who is probably the number two baby face right now. Roman Reigns will be back, so you got your two number two and three baby face there. John Cena is obviously number one. You have Seth Rollins, you have Brock Lesnar, you possibly have Undertaker, you possibly have Sting, you have The Rock, maybe, you have Triple H for sure. Those are about eight names, just ten names there that can pop can headline any wrestlemania really you just manage those guys up the way they have to be and i think you have a very solid wrestlemania card the way the shield has kind of broken off and kind of made stars themselves wwe is very lucky that all three of those guys are over in their own separate way and it's going to make for a very interesting wrestlemania to see who is placed where because right now the shield is even when they were together, they're the best thing going. And when they're broken up, they are, again, the best thing going. When Reigns comes back, he's going to be right back into the fold. And he's the guy, I guess, now that uh, Daniel Bryan isn't going to be back for the Rumble. That big return that everyone's been waiting for. You know, last year was Batista. And he's another guy that can possibly be at WrestleMania. Uh, making his return and really making an impact at WrestleMania 31. Roman Reigns can possibly take Daniel Bryan's spot when it comes to uh, that baby face kind of overcoming the odds of everything. Uh, having him holding up the title at WrestleMania 31 is not a not a you know crazy idea, and I can really see it happening if things go the way everyone plans them to. Well, for Daniel Bryan, just let him take it easy a little bit. Maybe if he is 100%, 100%, he can come back the night after WrestleMania. And that really sets the, sets the tone, because usually after Mania is that kind of they go off a high and then they just kind of smooth sail all the way to Extreme Rules and then up to SummerSlam and then you just get a big decline. You go through that phase where it's like, you know, bad pay-per-view and not very meaningful stuff. But having Daniel Bryan come back the night after Mania really lets them keep going in, in, a, in a high rise. And I think it'd be a great idea because that rest, night after WrestleMania, there's always something that really grabs you and makes you anticipate what happens. And Daniel Bryan coming back can be a great thing. But for me, let him hold off. Let him recover properly. Let him come back 100%.